Well, hello everyone and welcome to Momentum channel. My name is Mo and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about our Smith Maneuver portfolio that we have uh, with Quest Trade. The Smith Maneuver, for those of you who may not be familiar, is a technique that can be used by uh, homeowners in Canada who have their main uh, principal residence and have paid down at least 20% of their mortgage to use that as a technique to legally uh, turn their um, kind of the interest portion of the, the mortgage on the amount that they borrow from their home equity and invest uh, in, a, in a way to tax deductible kind of a feature. Um, we started this Smith Maneuver portfolio, I would say roughly about two years ago or so uh, and have reported and take advantage of some of those legal uh, tax refund as a result of those amounts that we've invested in, uh, in the stock market. And because uh, when you borrow money to invest, um, the interest you pay on it is actually tax deductible. So that's, the, in a nutshell, um, the essence of smooth maneuver. What I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna walk you through it, as you can see as well on the screen, where things are at, uh, what we are doing, and uh, how this portfolio has managed to be now uh, amassed a total of $136,604 at the time of making this video. When we started it, actually, it was very smaller. Um, we started with a total balance of $68,379 late in December of 2021. And over time, as we borrowed and we borrowed, tapped into the equity of our home and invested it, now the amount has grown as well as, of course, the investment that we've done it. I also wanted to bring to your attention quickly, not the entire amount that you see here is indeed uh, the amount that we've borrowed. Some of it, a large portion of it is actually what the amount that we initially had our own money the home equity portion that we started to tap into the portion that is actually tax deductible is the amount that you see here on the screen. This is a screen uh, actually from the Scotia Bank. Uh, we are actually using the Scotia Bank step uh, program. And this is the home equity line that attached to this program. And currently, as you see, we've uh, borrowed $51,689.38. We still have a credit of $910 that we could continue to borrow, but we haven't really tapped into it as much the interest rate is variable for this home equity line of credit right now the interest that we are getting is actually at 7.7 percent i know it sounds high definitely a lot higher than when we started this home equity line of credit but as you know the interest rates have grown so much and this is where things are at um i want to quickly show you uh, first and foremost what we are invested in at the end of the video i'll also provide you a quick look into what have been some of those tax refunds that we've got based on my calculations and how much interest we've paid so hopefully it provides you a good picture of where things are at as i indicated the total amount is 136,604 dollars roughly and if you look at it majority of this amount is already invested we still have a cash portion of only about 25 dollars the reason it's sitting there is just because it's not enough to uh, allow us to buy a full share with quest trade you can't buy a transaction uh, kind of what do you call it like if you can't actually buy um fractional shares uh, as you notice here the entire amount invested is in xeqt i'm going to click onto it just to give you a little bit more picture um xeqt is iShares core equity etf portfolio is an all-in-one uh, account kind of etf that allows you to get diversified exposure to the entire stock market uh, including the stocks in the US, in Canada, as well as international markets and emerging markets. We currently have, with our Quest Trade account too, this is Smith Maneuver, a total of, as you see, drum roll please, a total of 4,533 shares with an average purchase price of $26 and roughly 75 cents. Um, these shares were up today, a total of $181 roughly. And if you look at the entire return, uh, it's showing to be up by 12.6% all time. Um, and giving us that market value as well as you can see the book value of investments. This takes into account, of course, all of the dividends that we've received so far and we reinvest these dividends back into buying more shares of XEQT. So we are not actually taking any dividends out and we are just rather reinvesting it. That's where things are at. If you look at, if you're interested in terms of the performance of XEQT on, on its own, like you can see, for example, the past one year, shares of XEQT EQT have been up by a nice 18.2%. The past six months, they're showing to be up by 16.8%, just incredible. The past three months, we've had really great runs, rough, roughly up by 8.9%. And the past one month is showing to be up by 8.1.8%. Um, the past five days or past one week, it's uh, fairly flat at 0.27%. And today, uh, these shares were up by 0.13%. Um, so just a fraction of a uh, percent. 
I want to also show you uh, quickly for those who may be interested how much interest we've paid in because of borrowing this amount from this home equity line of credit. So I've really put it down for you. This is for the 2022 and 2023, mainly because as I'm as I finished the year based on my tax submissions and whatnot, that's how I have these numbers. You could see for each month how much we, we had paid. Keep in mind, these amounts vary drastically because over time, we borrowed more and more money. So of course, it's natural for these amounts, the interest to grow over time. Throughout the process though, as we hit certain threshold, I believe when we hit the 30,000 borrowed as well as the 50,000 borrowed, we negotiated with the bank and they brought our um, rate of borrowing lower. I believe the latest that we are, this is now at prime plus uh, don't quote me exactly on this, but I believe we are at prime price half, uh, and I can validate this after the video is edited and added a note if this is not the case. But initially it was very higher, but gradually we reduced it, um, you know, over time. And now this is the best rate that essentially Scotia told us that you are going to get. We are not going to get any different rate. Um, last year, um, in 2023, we paid a total of $2,804 roughly in interest. And when I entered it in my tax software at the time, for based on my circumstances, it brought down um, the amount of tax owed by over $1,000. So that was nice to see in terms of tax refund. And the year prior to that, um, we paid a total of close to $689 in interest. And when I entered it again in the tax software, I saw that that brought our interest um, uh, taxes owed amount by $248. So again, that would be the quote unquote, the tax refund that we got because of these amounts invested. Um, so that's nice to see and it, it continues over time. So if you continue to uh, borrow and um, to invest, the same amounts are always continuously being taxed, um, kind of tax deductible. It's uh, because we are continuing to use this um, amount that we're borrowing to invest in the market. Um, so for essentially for invest in, um, you know, income producing assets, in this case, XEQT, does definitely pay a dividend, definitely qualifies from that regards as well. Um, I don't want to go too far into more details. I just wanted to provide you quick high-level updates of the Smith Maneuver portfolio we have. Now, I don't want to make this video too, too long, but if you're interested to learn more about Smith Maneuver, we have a portfolio series essentially talking about, YouTube series talking about Smith Maneuver. We have made quite a bit of different videos here. I definitely will link it in the video so you can check it out or check out the smithmaneuver.com where you can find a lot more useful information. Thank you and I hope to see you all next time.